Hi Daily Mixers, I am here today in a central London studio and I get to meet up with the lovely Fern Cotton. You all know how much I love her and I am super excited. I'm actually going to get an exclusive preview of her very spring summer collection. So you can come with me, let's go. Okay, so whilst we're waiting for Fern to come over from her radio show, I'm in the studio and I thought I would take a sneak peek and bring you guys with me. So the first thing that I can see is the spring summer collection, which looks amazing. The one thing that stands out to me though is this dress. How cool is this? Absolutely love my collars, as you know, and this has a leopard print collar. Love the colours in this, orange and blue look amazing. And I just love this style of dress, so that is definitely a winner for me. This black swing dress. You can never go wrong with a swing dress, love that. I also love this. I think jackets like this go with everything, but I love the little detail of the black lace on the collar. I think that's really pretty. Okay, so we're in the hair and makeup section. I think this is the hair, and over here is the makeup. This is JJ, the makeup artist. <laughs> and I'm gonna nose through her makeup now. Um, if you're anything like me, you'll love looking at other people's makeup because I am obsessed with seeing what other people use. There's a nice collection of things here. So Fern is going to be here any minute, so I'm going to go out there and wait for her. So I am now here with Fern. Hello. Hello. So nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. I've been looking forward to today. Oh, thank excited you. about it. Um, so we're talking about your collection. I've had a little look at it already. Um, what is your favourite thing about doing the collections and getting your own little input in everything? Um, it's just a process that I really, really enjoy. I've always wanted to have some involvement in design, whatever kind of design element it is, because I love art and drawing and sketching, and I always have. So for me, this is the ultimate dream, as I get to sort of sit and make collages and, um, and do little funny drawings and mood boards, and then see it come to life is a really magical experience yeah. for me. So I just love it from start to end. Is there one thing that you particularly like the most out of your new collection? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's quite a kind of a bright spring, summer poppy feel, this yeah. one. So there's some really nice uh, pops of colour that I love. But I think I am going to say my favourite piece is um, something that I haven't really done before, which is a bit of a crop top, because I'm not mm. sure if at my age I should be wearing a crop top. Of but we've done it with can. this kind of <laughs> high-waisted long skirt. So it's kind of a really lovely, it's got a beautiful sort of um, Indian print on it. So it's quite a nice, fun summer dress with this little black crop top. I think it's a really nice outfit altogether, so I'm really proud of that one. And what are your main inspirations behind things like the new collection? Have you got like something in mind that helps you to design things? I always bear in mind at that starting point um, the very customers and, and how they want to shop. I really think about my friends because the six of us who all grew up together and went to school together have really different body shapes, really different sense of style and what we like and don't like. So if I bear each of those girls in mind, hopefully I will cover a broad horizon of very customers. Yeah, I guess that must be quite difficult because you can't just think, oh, I'd like this, I'd like this. You have to think about what other people are going to like as well. Yeah, I mean, definitely there's um, a bit of selfishness in there. Yeah. Like, oh, I need this <laughs> I think in my wardrobe. Be yeah. <laughs> I'm missing a trench coat in my wardrobe. Let's make a nice one or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit of that mixed in with kind of thinking about what is going to work for yeah. the brand. And I've noticed that we're sitting on this lovely sofa and this is all your homeware collection as well. You're correct, Zoe, we are <laughs> sat on this wonderful royal blue sofa, um, again, which I'm very, very proud of. This is my second homeware collection now. Uh, and the first lot, were, it was such an education doing something that different out of the kind of clothing comfort zone yeah. after doing it for quite a while. Um, and it was a whole new language to learn and a really, really fun one. So then in the second collection, we've kind of just added different colours to the range and also different Love designs. It. Yeah, you've got this nice hummingbird print that kind of Love works it. its way through the collection. Um, I love hummingbirds. I have a hummingbird tattoo on Ooh, my arm there. Nice. So that was something I definitely wanted to get in there. And then just to have these beautiful spring, summer colours through it as well to kind of give your house a nice little pop of colour so yeah I'm really happy with it. I literally want to replicate this whole thing and put it in my house. You could just live here. I could. Yeah. No one would notice. Just live here, <laughs> curl up and have a kip on the sofa <laughs> later. Okay so as a fashionista we couldn't have you here without putting both of our knowledge to the test so the Daily Mix crew have actually come up with a fashion quiz for us which is interesting because I think I'm going to be rubbish. Well, I'm just warning you, I'm quite competitive, so... Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think you're going to have this in the bag then. Good. <laughs> okay, question number one. Are you ready? I think so. Okay, which Hunger Games actress famously tripped up the stairs at this year's Oscars? Jennifer Lawrence. 
I wouldn't have yes. known that. I'm in love with her. <laughs> oh, she's great. Shall I ask you one? Yeah. Who is famous for wearing a meat dress? Lady Gaga. <laughs> Correct. Which word was the Oxford Dictionary's Word of the Year 2013? Selfie. Correct. Yes! <laughs> Who designed Kate Middleton's wedding dress? Um, um, um... It's on the tip of my tongue. Come on, Zoe, you've got this. Lacey. It was Lacey, correct. It had long sleeves. <laughs> That's not what we're looking for. <laughs> I, I can't remember. Sarah Burton for Alexander McQueen. <clears throat> Which member of 1D recently dyed their hair lilac? What? I don't know the names. Uh, I know it's Harry. What the other Herbert's called? Um, I know there's one called Niall. There's one called Zane. What and are there's the other there's one two? or two more. Two more? This is like oh, a I quiz know. in itself. Uh, oh, no, I've said Zane. All right. <laughs> I'm really struggling They here. both begin with L. Uh, Louis. Yeah. And Larry. Almost Liam. Liam. But which one died the hair Oh, uh, Niall. Correct. Oh, <laughs> amazing. That's amazing. annoying. <laughs> that is annoying for you. Uh, what was Miley Cyrus wearing when she twerked at the VMAs? Some weird, like, beigey, leathery thing. I'll give you that. It was kind of skin coloured bra and pants. Yeah, that's the one. Sure. <laughs> Who is YouTube's most subscribed band? I would say it's got to be One Direction, right? Correct. Oh, yes, You're wild guess these. again. <laughs> Who appears in her music video, California Girls, wearing a cupcake bra? Katy Perry. Yeah, easy. Way <laughs> that too was easy. easy. Which famous mum tweeted pics of her baby's designer wardrobe? Right, well, there's, there's options for this one. We're either going to go Kim K, although she's only recently had a baby, so maybe, but she could have done it before the birth. Could be her. It could be Victoria Beckham, because I reckon that little Harper has got a better mm. wardrobe than definitely me and most others. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go... Ooh. I'm going to go VB. It's Kim K. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, that's frustrating. <laughs> I get half a point for that one. Um, who famously selfied their bottom whilst wearing a white swimsuit? Amanda Bynes? No. It's Kim Kardashian again oh. with the old Belfie, the bum shot. Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. A Belfie, yeah. It's when a you Belfie. take a picture of yourself with your bum in shot. It's a Belfie. Who does that? Kim, Kim Kardashian. Kardashian. Yeah. <laughs> she has got a good bum. A lovely bum. Mm. Who caused a storm this year with a rather large tattoo? Cheryl Cole on her bum. On her bum. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who on Twitter called her followers fashion bunnies? I have no idea. Guess. Wild guess. Lady Gaga? No. Mm. Victoria Beckham again. Oh. Basically, all the answers are Victoria Beckham or Kim <laughs> or Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Just say one of them. <laughs> so I think it's fairly obvious who won that challenge. Fern. Thanks. Although, I do think you need to scrub up on your 1D knowledge. We've learned that today, that's a fact, <laughs> yes. Thumbs up to Fern for being so good at that. And thank you very much, guys, for watching. And thank you so much for being here. It's been thank so you. nice having you here. Um, leave a comment below and let us know what you thought. And we'll see you again very soon.